All right, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, or Chak Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world that nearly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Chak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who are willing to teach on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I entitled this lesson, Their Pride is Being Exalted for Their Destruction. And um, the reason why I entitled that is um, basically when I was uh, out and about last night, I was uh, observing, you know, doing spiritual observations of uh, these people out here. And um, what I noticed is, and this has actually been going on for a little bit of time now, what I've noticed is ever since they uh, reopened pretty much, you know, everything back up, you know, the restrictions are being loosened. You're starting to see what an increase in pride okay and you know for us brothers uh you know in this truth um you can't really get too upset okay i just want to throw that out there don't get you know uh, get too frustrated you know like i said too mad too upset and um the reason why i'm saying that is because you know it, it's, it is vexing dealing with these people especially if you have to you know interact with them all right but you also got to remember now look, these people, they're basically getting set up by the Most High. Because as the scriptures say here, let me get this, Proverbs 16 and 18, it says, Pride goeth before destruction. You see, pride goeth before the downfall, okay? And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing all these people, they think that, you know, things are going to go back to normal. Hey, things are going to rebound. They're going to have a hot girl summer, okay? You know, they, they, these guys think they... You know, they can, you know, fly to Atlanta, you know, or, you know, go to L.A., you know, have a good old time, go to, the, you know, the Caribbeans and just, you know, uh, you know, enjoy life. OK, so to speak. And really, you know, these things aren't going to happen, you know, right now. Yeah, things are opened back up, but eventually what's going to happen? You know, there, there's going to be more shutdowns. OK, because they've already been. Um, stating that on the news okay you're gonna have like i said more shutdowns you're gonna have more restrictions rules regulations and things are gonna get more rough out here okay you know inflation's gonna skyrocket there's gonna be lack of jobs all right there's gonna be a lot of uncertainty out here and you see all that pride that people have right now is gonna go out the window okay and when they, you know, when this stuff, you know, uh, uh, get, you know, gets shut down again, you know, it's, it's not going to be like the first time where they were, you know, friendly with it. I'm going to put it like that because really that's what it was. Hey, these, um, these uh, officials, they were very lax and friendly. Okay, they weren't really too strict. But when, when it comes the second round, it's going to be a whole different ball game. You know, you're going to have more um, military uh, um, enforcement okay on the streets all right you're gonna have you know the regular you know uh, police force on the streets but it's gonna be more militarized things are gonna get more um more serious it's gonna be um like uh what is it um do you, it's, uh, that draconian law there we go it's gonna get more intense all right you see but this is all the reason why going back to the original statement it you know why these people are um are you know get, getting more prideful is ultimately for the destruction you see the destruction is that nigh which we'll get to in a moment but let me finish this off first proverbs 16 and 18 pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall better is it, it better is it to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud and the reason why it's better to be lowly in spirit is because the Lord is looking for somebody that's contrite, that's lowly, that doesn't think, you know, highly of himself. The Lord hates pride. That's one of the top things that the Lord hates. He can't stand, uh, he, he can't stand pride, okay? Because as the scriptures say, once you have pride, you do what? You departed from your maker, okay? Let me get that real quick, actually. You depart from your maker. You know, you, you don't believe that you have to, you know, fear the most high. Your ways are better that you, you know, have done everything. All right. 
But let me get this. I think this is uh, Ciroc 10, I believe. Yeah, this is... Um, let me actually go up to uh, 7. And we'll jump down. This is... Um, Ciroc um, 10 and 7. It says, Pride is hateful before the Most High Man. Alright, everybody hates pride. Okay? Everybody does. And what does this society do? It pushes pride. But in reality, everybody hates it. Starting with the Most High. Okay? And it says here, And by both do with one commit iniquity. Let me go down. The beginning, this is uh, Sirach 10 and 12 now. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. Okay? The second you get pride in you, that's when you start departing from the Most High. Like I said, you believe you did everything. Your ways are better. You know, hey, there's no repercussions for your actions. All right? That's what starts occurring. Okay? Verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin. You see, pride is the beginning of sin. And why is that? Because you start, you know, basically following what? Your own philosophies. All right? And your own philosophies are vain. Okay? You know? They're, they're not, uh, um... Hold on, give me one moment. Come on. Of course, you gotta have, uh, you know, random, uh, Amalekite running around. <laughs> Salakia. Acting a goddamn fool, man. Salakia. But, uh, this is, um, let me read that again. This is Sirach 10 and 12. It says, The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. Or, Salakia, for pride is the beginning of sin. And why is that? Because basically, you, um, you start following your own ways, okay? Which is all what? Vanity, okay? It's abominable. All right? The, the, these are just facts. Okay? These are just facts. And what does the scripture say? Man at his best is all vanity. Okay? In his best estate. Even in, in your best estate, you're all vanity. Okay? If you're not following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hey, nothing, nothing that you say is going to be profitable. Nothing that, that you do is going to be profitable. All right? Okay? Now, I'm going to read it again. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Hey, those philosophies, ideologies, your actions. Okay? And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew uh, them utterly. And you see, that's what's about to happen to a lot of these people, man. The Lord's about to start bringing, well, he has been bringing strange calamities. Okay? You know, for instance, I'll use this one as an example. Out there in Florida... You had a condominium building basically uh, collapse. It literally just, you know, pancaked. Okay? Just half of the building is just, you know, flattened out. That was a strange calamity. You know, maybe a sinkhole happened. Who knows? You know, we'll find out later. But that, that building just collapsed out of nowhere. You know? that That's a strange calamity. And there's many more. But that's, you know, um, something that I... Uh, that I can think of right now is, in, you know, for an example. And it's going to get worse and worse out here. You're going to see more natural disasters. People dying from that. People, you know, dying from, you know, more of these pestilence. Okay, which is diseases. You're going to see all sorts of wild things, you know, occur. All right? You know, as time, you know, uh, keeps going by. All right? Now I'm going to keep uh, reading. Verse 14. The Lord has cast down the thrones of proud princes. And that's what's uh, about to happen, you know, to uh, Esau. All right. These, um, you know, other heathen rulers. Also, even the two thirds of our own people that have um, basically a position of power in this society. He's about to throw them down. And it says here, and set up the meek in their stead. And that's what's going to happen. You see, look, Akim. You know, let these people get proud. Let them feel, you know, that there's something special. Because look, the Lord's about to do hey, some, some, uh, um, some terrible, terrible works to these people. Okay? Alright? He's going to get them at some point. You see, we just got to worry. As the scriptures say, don't, um, what does it say? Uh, inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Okay? That's what you should be doing. You should be inquiring how the righteous shall be saved. All right? You're not supposed to be worrying about the death of the wicked, you know? And their end. We already know it's just it's going to be terrible. 
they're going to know everything but uh, um you know death by pain as the scriptures say you know so they don't they don't worry about these people don't let them bother you okay you know like i said let them have a good time hey, let them get their hey, their little uh, uh small you know w's right now hey they, they can have the small w's the little carnal w's hey we're, we're looking for that big spiritual w okay we're looking for that big spiritual w so you know we could get what you know uh salvation okay and with salvation comes what i always say this you know the um the transformation of our bodies you know us getting the upgraded bodies then comes what the dominion okay the glorification you see we want incorruptible things we don't want corruptible uh uh, uh. basically yeah we want the incorruptible crowns not the uh, corruptible crowns and see these people that they want the corruptible crowns and the reason why is because corruptible crowns, so you know, hey, you could get it easily and quickly. But those incorruptible crowns, that takes a long time to get. Okay? It takes a long time to get. And you got to go through what? That fire, that spiritual fire. Okay? That adversity. Acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity, as Sirach 2 and 5 says. All right? All right, so basically, hey, continue to stay humble and meek. Let, like I said, let these people hey, get their, you know, Get their little W's, all right? I'm going to keep reading Sirach 10 and 15. It says, The Lord hath plucked up the root of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. And the elect, hey, they're getting planted right now. And the Lord, hey, he's slowly plucking these uh, uh, proud people up, man. All right? Slowly pl plucking them up. And it's going to be beautiful when all hell breaks loose. And when these people have no food. And when these people... uh have no answers, no water, you know, no entertainment, you know, no gas for the cars. It's going to be beautiful on that day, all right? You see us, as it says in the scriptures, in 2nd Ezra, it says um, that, that we, you know, the elect, we're going to have things in abundance. And the heathens are going to envy and, and, and cannot do anything about it. You got to think about that. We're going to have an abundance, meaning we're going to have a... a and uh excess of things you know not even not even just like the you know we're just you know getting by we're gonna have an excess of things you know however the lord does it he's gonna do it man you know so, hey, some way we're, we're, we're gonna have a lot of things in that day you know all right so don't worry about like i said uh <laughs> Hey, hey, don't let these people get you upset. Hey, they're they're going to have a terrible end. Horrible is the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the end of an ungodly generation. That's in Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter. Remember that. They're going to have a horrible end. Okay? Now, let me get this. Second Ezra 8 and 50, okay? <clears throat> this is Second Ezra 8 and 50. <clears throat> And it reads, excuse me, Second Ezra 8 and 50, For many great miseries shall be done to them that are in the latter time. <clears throat> Let's select, let me read that again. <clears throat> Second Ezra 8 and 50, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. You see, many great, great miseries are coming to these people. And it's because why? They walked in great pride. Okay? All right? So the Lord's setting this all up. Hey, these things, uh, uh, this pride has to come first before their destruction, okay? And what are some of the things that are about to happen to them? Let's get 2nd Ezra 15. We'll go through this uh, fairly quickly, okay? All right? This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell in the, uh, therein. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. That's what's coming. Okay? A lot of chaos. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So you, even these uh, officials. You know, those that are in you know, the positions of power. They're about to, um, about to feel the wrath too. They can't escape. Hey, they're just men and, and, and women too. Okay? Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's what's going to occur again. 
hey, they're going to shut these cities down, these countries down. Except this time around, when they do you know, that second shutdown, it's going to be way worse. It's not going to be like the first shutdown. Like I said, last time, it was more lax. PA. They didn't really uh, enforce too many uh, rules. Okay, they may have said a thing or two, but they never really, you know, uh, arrested anybody. They never, you know, uh, you know, shot anybody, killed anybody, you know. That's what's going to happen the, the next time around. You're going to start seeing that. You're going to start seeing, hey, these, uh, 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 like I said, these police officers and these military troops come in. And if you're not listening, you know, if you're out of order, you're going to get you know, beat up, arrested, or you're just going to get killed on the spot. You know? Okay, verse 18, for because of their pride, see, it's the main thing, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay, that's what's coming. Great calamities. Watch these uh, end time, you know, apocalyptic type movies. And, and see, you know, um, you know, see what, the, you know, these characters in these movies go through. Go watch Black Summer. That's a new, a new series out on Netflix, all right? Or season two is, all right? Go watch season one and two. Watch that series, okay? Go watch The Book of Eli. Go watch The Road. Watch these movies. It gives you an idea of what's about to happen, okay? And there's many more. There's many, many more. Go watch the movie The Domestics, okay? All right? I'm going to keep reading. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what's coming. Okay? That's what's coming. That's what's about to hit this place. Hey, so brothers, hey, let these people get their little, you know, like I said, these small car carnal Ws. All right? Let them, um, uh, my bad. You know, sorry, I've been watching some stuff out here. This stuff is nuts, man. But, um, you know, let these people get these, you know, small carnal Ws, okay? Hey, hey, hey let, let them be prideful. Let them, hey, be exalted right now. Hey, just remain meek, lowly. And eventually the Lord's going to exalt us, and we're going to get the big W, and we're going to have the final laugh, all right? But, you know, that's pretty much it. And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? I'll shy. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you brothers out there. Shalom.